Before we begin this episode, I'd like to recognize the Harsh Rules Patreon supporters that help make content like this possible. If you'd like to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash harsh rules to learn more. And once again, thank you for your support. This is Harsh Rules, I'm Ben Harsh, and today we have another unboxing, this time for a counter tray from Aegis. So this is the Aegis counter tray. Um, the, the company had sent me some of these as a sample to take a look at with you guys on the channel. So here it is. Um, so first of all, what are these for if you're not familiar? So essentially, I'm going to bring out a game here that I picked up used. Um, here is, let me put this, we get, the reflection is on it. This is Ardennes 44. So a lot of times you are stuck with these baggies to store your, uh, your counters. So there are a lot of counters in this game and... You know, GMT will sell these counter holders. And as you can see here, this one's kind of jammed full in some respects. What's interesting about the Aegis ones, and this is sold separately. You need to buy the counter tray separately. The game itself just comes with the paper maps and, and cardboard sheets with the counters. So people that don't have a counter tray, like in this situation, usually have these little baggies that are filled up with counters. Um, but the problem is the more of these you get in here, you get kind of hills and bumps and it's hard to close the box. So people will invest in counter trays so that one is you can be more organized and two is you can fit everything in the box nicely. So Aegis is another company that offers counter trays. And the difference between this and the GMT and there's some other ones on the market is essentially that this one has larger counters. I think it's easier if we flip it over, you can see the back. So you can see your larger uh, wells or larger pockets to store things. So you can see the difference here, the um, GMT counter trays, and you can see the plastic's a little thin on mine, so some of them are kind of crushed a little bit, but that is, uh, you know, I got this second hand, so God knows what this poor game has been through since before I got it. But you can see the, here the counter trays, the pockets or the wells or reservoirs, are a lot larger in the Aegis version. And the reason for that is essentially they're roughly the roughly the same size. I think the Aegis one is slightly bigger, but it does still fit nicely into what is known as a bookshelf size box. Um, but you'll see on this GMT tray, there's you know quite a bit of a lip in the design. So they had to sacrifice some space because the way it's designed is it has this lip that runs around the box and you see the Aegis one is more flush still thick walls but it's flush so by doing that and, and expanding it out a bit you get bigger um, places to store counters the other thing to be aware of is you'll see here the top seals on and there's like a gap between these two so um, to get this off you have to pry this up and you lift it and then you have that you can see that the plastic is shaped so it has a little indentation here so it locks on and keeps the counters from floating between pockets. The Aegis tray has the same design but it's flush so you have these tabs here on the end you can reach to separate it. And, the, and you'll also notice if I can get this guy open here you'll also notice that the the little lips are there a little bit deeper, so it gets you a little bit better lock on it. Um, and that allows you to store more counters in the trays. So you can see here, you know, if we transfer these in to this tray, and ideally, you know, there's this box, there's about room for one of these because it's a thinner box. So I probably would want to transfer these over so I can fit all the counters I have for this game into the one tray. And I think to be fair, this one I bought it secondhand, but I believe there's some ex there's a magazine counters and some other things jammed in here that's part of this Ardennes 44 game. Um, but you know, we can just experiment a little bit here. We take our extra overflowed counters that are in these baggies See if we can get them in there without making a big mess. There we go. There we go. So you can see we can get, although I'm not being very neat about this, you can get 
quite a few in here, and the same could be said here. Um, the pocket numbers are the same, so you have five, so 20. This also has 20, but it, because you don't have the extra edge here and it's a little bit longer, you have more space for each of these so you can get more counters in. So this is an option from Aegis Games. And from a price perspective, um, I've seen a range of prices. I believe these are $23 to $25 for a pack of five. Um, and I was trying to compare these to other ones on the market, but the challenge is, and I don't know if this is a, like a pandemic thing, but like the, all the GMT ones, I've looked at a lot of the stores online. They're all, they're all sold out. They don't have any in stock. Um, Chessex makes some that I see, but they're very expensive. They're like anywhere from four to $8 a piece. These, you know, at, let's say they're $4 and something a piece, these Aegis ones, the GMT ones are cheaper, but it doesn't help you uh, if you can't get them and they're not in stock. And I checked the GMT website as well as a lot of the big um, board game retailer sites. Did not see any available. So um, I'm going to put the link in the description if you're interested in, you know, picking these up. If you're like me, I purchase a lot of games secondhand. So... Um, sometimes the counters are just scattered all over in the box. Sometimes they're bagged like this one where they were all in little bags and they actually had a GMT counter tray, which was helpful. Um, but sometimes you get them or you punch them. And once you do that, those things, like when I, I had some loose in the box here, you pick up stuff and they get stuck in between papers and they fall out. And if, if you're like me at all, um, you know, my wife and son are always vacuuming and doing things and are always constant terror that she, something's going to fall on the floor and get sucked up or something. And then once you lose a counter, it's, you can't really play the game that well. Um, so thought I would share this with you. Uh, these, the Aegis counter trays, um, and I'll put the link in the description so you can see where you can order yours. If you're looking for counter trays for your box, just a neat video to shoot, to show you, um, what's available on the market for storage. So here's another option for you. So once again, I'm Ben Harsh for Harsh Rules. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and share with your friends. To be the first notified when the next episode of Harsh Rules becomes available, please hit the bell icon for notifications. And as always, this is Ben Harsh for Harsh Rules. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.